Hey, what's up guys? So now that we've built the button layout for our calculator, let's focus on input now so that when we click on some of these buttons, um, it displays the question up here and eventually we want to display the answers at the bottom right as well. Okay, so um, first of all, I changed these um, the font size to 20 to make it a little, bo little bit more uh, legible from the last video. Okay, now the first thing we're going to need to do is over here in the main, I'm going to display some text up here. Okay, so I'm going to create two uh, variables. I'm going to call it user question and um, let's call it user answer. Okay, so we have these two strings here. And we're going to adjust these two variables as our calculator computes the answer. Okay, so our expanded widget, this first one, is represented by this top area. Okay, and inside here, let's let's display some some things. Okay, so I'm going to have a column. Okay, and in that column, let's put the user question. Actually, that's a text, so let's put it in a text widget, um, user question, and also the same thing, but user answer. Okay, and for now, I'm actually going to put something in here. So let's say question, answer. Okay, and let's see what that looks like. Now, we can't really see it, and maybe it's because it's hidden by that notch. So in the column, let's say main access alignment space evenly and yep there it is so basically it was just bunched up in there so I just spaced it out evenly um, one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap each of these in a row container same as this one wrap it in a container and here we can adjust an alignment property I'm going to say alignment dot um, center left and let's copy that here but let's do center right okay um, let's put a comma comma okay cool that looks a bit better so question here and then answer down here I'm actually going to also add some padding. So padding, edge, inserts all, let's call it 20. And let's do the same thing here. Okay. Yep, bit better. And the last thing I'm just gonna do to just quickly adjust this is I'm just gonna add a sized box with a height of say 50. And cool. And basically, I just wanted to push it down a little bit. Okay, so now that we've got these two things, um, let's make our font size also just a bit bigger. Text style, the font size, let's call it 20. Yep, that's good. And let's add this in to this guy as well. Okay, sweet. So now that we've got answer and question there, I'm just going to come back here and make it blank for now. And what we want is we want to tap these buttons and make it so that each of those buttons appear up there. Okay, so let's go to our button class and let's wrap it with a just a detector. Okay, so basically this widget does what it sounds like. It detects for a gesture. Uh, gesture. So. Um, the very first common one we always use is just on tap. Okay, so when you tap this button, we want some function um, to happen. Okay, so this button class, I'm going to have to add a um, button tapped. Let's, let's create a variable called button tapped. And let's add this constructor. So this dot button tapped and button tapped here as well. Okay, so basically when we create this button, we had to specify these three um, these three things, right? So color, text color, and also the button text. 
uh, we're also going to add another one which is button tapped okay so when we create this button over here when we create these buttons we're going to have an extra um, an extra thing to fill out which is here which is what we just created so button tapped so if we tap this button we want something to happen right so we want some function to execute and basically what I want um, to happen is I want to if I press 8 I want to add an 8 on top of what was already there okay so I'm going to say oh, first thing I should do is set state and the user question is I'm going to say I'm going to add on this one here okay so basically if, you do, if you're not sure what this line of code means user question plus equals means whatever the user question was originally and then we're going to add on this button index okay and this button index would be the button that we tap on right it will have the corresponding index and we're just going to add that on to the current um, user question also just to maybe show you guys if you haven't seen that notation before basically this is what we're doing user question equals to user question and we're going to add our button on okay but we can kind of reduce this to shorthand and use this notation okay it comes in really handy okay so let's see if I just save this let's see what happens so we should have whoops we should have nothing in here to start us off good and if I just click 8 yay so we have the button that we press is just going to show up okay so this basically we've dealt with our input okay so basically all of these buttons work um, let's just focus on the clear and the delete button and then we'll wrap it up for this video okay so the clear button so what do we want the clear button to do well we, if you press clear we want so button tapped if I press the clear button I want everything to be cleared right so it's gonna have to execute some function uh, some function and basically use a question set it back to nil okay back to nothing and let's see if this works so add a bunch of numbers and if I press clear it doesn't do anything and that's because we didn't set the state set state and we want to change it okay so we definitely want to change this variable but we want to make sure we rebuild the whole application the whole uh, build widget okay so the effect takes place so let's try it again so 8989 bunch of stuff and if I press clear it goes away okay nice and easy so that was a clear button last thing is our delete button okay so when we tap our button we want to execute something and basically what we want to execute right is um, when we press delete we just want the last element to go away right so how should we do that so let's say um, so let's say like something like user question is equal to user question I think there's a substring yeah substring which means we only want part of this string so if this is the full string we only want from zero to the one the second last element right um, zero, zero to user question dot length minus one. I'm just going to test this out. See if this works first. Oh, I didn't set the state again. Cool. So basically, what I did here is. When I press delete, the user question, which is what I want to display up there, um, I want to get what it was originally, and I want to only get from zero, so the first uh, element, to this number of elements. So user question dot length would give us how many elements there are in total in the string, and then I just want to subtract one. Okay, we wanted to get rid of the last one there. Okay, I think it's going to have an error if you go to the end. Yeah, there we go. It's a exception okay but that will still work okay cool so that's pretty much it for this video okay just dealing with the inputs um, and the gesture detectors okay so in the following video let's um, basically make this calculator function
Okay, and that's pretty much it. Sweet. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I'll, see, I'll catch you guys in the next one.